The wife of Enugu State Governor Monica Wai urges the women of the state to take advantage of this year's August meeting to rejuvenate their noble responsibilities as agents of peace and social development. Bamidele Achai has details of this story in this report. Women of Igbo nationality are known for their annual congresses, which holds in August every year. It is a homecoming event whereby Igbo women in the diaspora and those in the city travel back to their matrimonial towns to meet in order to discuss matters about community development, conflict management, and human development. Flag of this year August meeting in Enugu featured different women groups who spoke on the essence of the event with display of their rich community farm produce. It's a yearly event for the women, and that is because women are the home builders. And that is because it is said that uh, when you train a child, a girl child, you have trained the nation. I learned from her that when your husband needs anything he needs, you must do it. According to the Bible, said that you must be submissive to your husband. I will tell them. I will tell, always tell them to go to the farm. We went to farm because it's from farm we are bringing all those things. The event featured lecture series on the role of women to build a family that will have positive impact on the community and society at large. In our children, people make it a point of duty to connect with your son at his own level. Wife of the Nigerian State Governor taught the women on how to employ God's wisdom, commitment, and stirring a joyful mood into their homes. Mrs. Ugwai advised them to be financially responsible, even as the country faces harsh economic reality. August meeting in Igbo land represents the social, economic and cultural development initiative of women. Building a home needs wisdom, commitment and exemplary life to your children and people around you. The governor's wife urged the women to shun jealousy, bitterness, and avoid quarrels between co-wives by practicing forgiveness, share gifts to less privileged ones, and let people in the rural areas feel their presence. Bamidele Ajayi, TVC News, Enugu.